Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Bray, and I've been working in the field of traumatic stress for many years. And one of the first questions that's often asked to me is, how do I know if somebody has traumatic stress? How can you tell if somebody has traumatic stress? If somebody in your life has experienced an event and you're uncertain as to whether or not they've recovered from it or if they need some help, there's a straightforward way to tell how they're doing. Ask them to do a simple task. That task is to tell the story of what happened to them from beginning to end and to notice if they can do that with appropriate affect. If they can, they're probably well on their way to being recovered um, from that event, or maybe they don't have any other problems with that event. If they can't tell the story with appropriate affect, then that probably indicates that there's some unresolved issues that need to be addressed. Now, appropriate affect means being in touch with your feelings and giving expression to them. So this is not just giving a situation report from the head up with no affect, no emotion, no expression. It's when you tell the story, they're often sad. And that sadness can sometimes make you want to cry. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly appropriate to give expression to that sadness. But if the sadness overwhelms you and suddenly you melt down into a pile of tears and can't go on, that suggests that there needs to be something done to help. Appropriate affect can be simply when you feel anger that you express it. But that anger and that rage doesn't take over and keep you from being able to go on and make you storm out of the room or make you just stop. Appropriate affect is something that we all know when we see it. And if you can let yourself ask the person to tell the story and see where they're at, you'll know whether or not they need some help. Same thing for yourself. If you can tell your story beginning to end to who you choose to share it with, then you're probably well on your road to recovery. If you can't, then you probably need some help. And there's lots of help to be found. Using thought field therapy is the simplest way I know to bring that affect into a manageable range so that you can do what you choose to do with your story. I encourage you to think about this and to try it. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to give me a call or write me. Um, remember, you're not alone and there are lots of things to be done to be better. Bye-bye.